just got off a live stream with Extreme Philippines. Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Still a small channel, uh, put on a good live stream, enjoyed it. Um, one of the things that uh, they talked about in there is ladies being tampo. Let's talk about that. This kind of thing comes up an awful lot, guys. It does. I see it in live streams all the time. But you know what? <laughs> if your wife or long-term relationship is doing a lot of pushing with you, is it the right one? Now, I'm not saying run away from, you know, an argument or whatever, because boy, oh boy, did Lynn and I have a few burners, which was 99% me, uh, during our build. Okay, and you know, so it goes both ways. It goes both ways, guys. <laughs> but here's the kicker with all of this. Do you have a plan for how to deal with getting back to neutral between the two of you so you don't collapse a relationship? Now, years ago, I'm taking some counseling and the counselor says to me, you do know that we've got you every single time. She's a female counselor. And I said, how so? And she says, because you guys can't multitask emotions at all. That's why you start the loud voices, you kick things, you do all sorts of stuff, because you can't multitask emotions. We know that. And that's why we always go, and when you? <laughs> so Lynn and I have always worked on that premise. We go to, we say, you know, we need to talk about this. Uh, both of us have time to think about it, and then we might go off to a restaurant or whatever and then just calmly talk about it. And it only happened a couple of times with us guys where one or even myself has gone, and when you, separate topic, write it down, come back later and talk about it. But you know what? 99% of the time, like for instance with the house build, it was usually me frustrated with the workers or whatever. I think we had like three of these situations. And of course it was retrospect. I just said, I'm sorry, it's just me. I got all wound up because I just couldn't, da, 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 da. And, you know, there's really not too much to talk about there. Um, what we can learn as guys is just keep our damn mouths closed. Go stomp off somewhere and, you know, drive your head into a tree or whatever you need to do. <laughs> but the last thing you need to be doing is taking it out on close friends or family, right? Or your relationship. So, you know, if you find... Um, especially if you're doing the online thing. God, guys, I've seen it. There was an outlet in the area that we were building. It's all scripted. Be careful of these online things. They know how to do the pouty thing. They know how to do the cry thing. They know how to put that kind of pressure on and you're not working with this head. Pause, pause, pause. I'll leave it there. Um, you have to be careful if you're doing this by online. Again, I've cited Philippine life mates before, do the whole meet and greet thing. And, and if you don't wanna do the meet and greet, then they will set you up with, you know, say 10 people to go have coffee with in a safe environment so that everybody can feel comfortable. So there is that option for you. I know it means going there, but if you've never been there before, you gotta go anyway. You gotta go anyway. And I would still suggest that's probably a better way to go. Again, brought up an extreme uh, Philippines this morning. Um, you know, one fellow brought up, hey, just go there. Start getting yourself grounded before you start getting and looking into a relationship. Not bad advice, because maybe you're going to find out the tampo just isn't that big a problem. Just saying. Later, Gators. <laughs>